Good evening, parents, friends, teachers, supporters, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. Congratulations. You have successfully gone from having to ask to use the restroom to moving away to live on your own in a matter of months. Remarkable. As we approach the end, people grow so worried and anxious about the future and what lies ahead. I'm here to tell you to stop worrying. Why? Because we have been prepared for this moment for years. We just haven't realized it yet. Graduation speeches are given thousands of times each and every year with the intent of inspiring the graduating class and providing insight into the rapidly approaching future. I've compiled some quotes from some of, if not the greatest, the most memorable, and will do my best at explaining how they relate. Some have been edited slightly, but you'll get the point. Dennis Kuberman once said, today I would like to look back, look back on our four years here, looking back not with anger, but with no regrets. No regrets for what we wanted to do, but did not. What we wanted to say, but could not. And so I say here today, the one thing I wish I had said, the one thing I know I will regret if I never say. I love you, Beth Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm sure many of you are thinking, how is this relevant? She doesn't even go here. <laughs> this, however, is a prime example of carpe diem. We should all strive to seize each and every single day. Leave no stone unturned, no dream unfulfilled. Take every single positive opportunity given to you. Make the most of what you are given. Try something new, and I'm not talking about a different Frappuccino at Starbucks. <laughs> Smile at a stranger. Take a spontaneous trip to the beach. Do the Napoleon Dynamite dance in front of hundreds of people. <laughs> Tell someone you love them. Do something you've never done simply because you can. These are the moments that you will look back on and want to tell your grandchildren about. The moments where you were completely random and completely you. As Jessica Stanley observed, when we were five, they asked us what we wanted to be when we grew up. Our things were answers like astronaut, president, or in my case, princess. When we were 10, they asked us again. We answered rock star, cowboy, or in my case, gold medalist. But now that we've grown up, they want a more serious answer. Well, how about this? Who the heck knows? This isn't the time to make hard and fast decisions. This is the time to make mistakes. Take the wrong train and get stuck somewhere. Fall in love. A lot. Major in philosophy because there is no way to make a career out of that. <laughs> change your mind. Then change it again because nothing is permanent. So make as many mistakes as you can. That way, someday, when they ask again what we want to be, we won't have to guess. We'll know. Life right now is about making as many mistakes as we need to. Spend half a day lost in the subway in New York, date someone because you both like the same TV show, dye your hair green. And once you're done making these mistakes, let it go, let it go, because for the first time in forever, you'll know exactly who you are and who you want to be. So, as a wise Troy Bolton once noted, Centennial is a place where teachers encourage us to break the status quo and define ourselves as we choose, where a jock can cook up a mean creme brulee, where a brainiac can break down on the dance floor. It's a place where one person, if it's the right person, changes us all. At Centennial, we have all had the ability to define ourselves as we choose, to become the individual that we always saw ourselves as. That one person that was able to change us may be different for everyone. It could be a Mr. Coleman, a Mrs. Raditz, a Mr. Smith, an RT. It could be a friend, a mentor, a parent. But no matter the person, those individuals got us here today. Without their assistance, love, respect, and care, we would not be sitting here. So I encourage you to thank those individuals. Today would certainly not be possible without them. And let us all strive to someday become that person for someone else. Centennial High School is having friends that we will keep for the rest of our lives. I guess that means we really are all in this together. Because once a golden hawk, always a golden hawk. Congratulations, class of 2014. We did it. We graduated.